Welcome back everyone, my name is Abdullah Ghori from Alpha Technology and in this video we will create rock paper scissors game in C++. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new video. So let's start writing code. So first of all we need to declare some variables. So our first variable will be string name or we can say player name in which we store the name of the player. So we will say C out. We are printing a message to user that enter your name and we will store the player name in our player name variable. So, we will say C in player name. After that, we want that our screen should be clear. So, we will say system and in the system function, we will pass the argument CLS. So, it will clear the screen for us. So, here we will declare another variables rounds in which we store the rounds and we ask the user that how many rounds do you want to play. So, we will say player name. how many rounds you want to play and we'll store the rounds in our rounds variable so we'll say rounds and here we'll declare two other variables the first one is player score the second one is computer score so we'll say int player score equal to 0 so our player score will be 0 and computer score equal to 0 so we are creating two variables player score and computer score and we are initializing the player score and computer score with 0 after that we need to run a loop that will run rounds type or we can say that will run the number of time that user enter so we'll say for int round equal to 1 round less than or equal to rounds that user enter round plus plus and here we'll say system cls it will clear the screen for us and after that we need to declare two other variable the first one is player choice and second one is computer choice so we'll say player choice comma computer choice and here will display the round number and the player and computer score so we'll say C out round number round of rounds so let's say user enter 5 in the rounds variable so it will print that round number 1 of 5 so that's great so after that we'll print the scores so we'll say player name player names score so whatever the player name it will say the player names score equal to and here we'll print the player score variable so we'll say player score in line and we'll print another message for computer score so we'll say computer score is equal to computer score variable and inline after that we'll print the choices to user that one equal to rock two equal to paper three equal to scissor and after that we'll print that select your choice so we'll say c out one for rock C out 2 for paper and inline C out 3 for scissor and inline and after that we say the user that select your choice and we'll store the choice of the user in player choice variable so now we have the player choice so we need computer choice but we want that the computer choice should be random so how can we make a program that will generate some random numbers so i have a separate video on this topic so you can watch and learn from it i will drop the link in the description section below 
so to create or to generate the random numbers we need to include some other header files so we'll say include the first header file will be stdlib.h and the other header file will be c time so these two header files needs to generate some random numbers so here we'll say s rand that means set the rand and in s rand we'll pass the argument time our function time and in function will pass the argument 0 so it will set the random number with our time so it will make sure that all the random number are generated that are perfectly random so after that we'll say computer choice equal to rand this is a function that returns some random numbers and we'll say mod 3 it will make sure that the random numbers that are written by rand function are from 0 to 2 but we want the random number from 1 to 3 so we'll say plus 1 at the last so now it will return the random number from 1 to 3 so after that we'll check the condition so we'll say if now if players, player choose 1 and computer choose 3 that means player wins so we'll say if player choice equal to 1 and computer choice equal to 3 that means if player choose rock and computer choose scissor that means our player wins so we'll say c out player player win and here we'll increase the score of the player by 1 so we'll say player score plus plus and we'll check another condition so we'll say else if player choice equal to 2 and computer choice now player choice equal to 2 that means player choice equal to paper and computer choice equal to 1 that means computer choice equal to rock so in this case again our player will win so we'll say see out player win and at the last we'll say inline and here we'll increase the score of the player by one so we'll say player score plus plus we'll say else if so we'll check another condition so we'll say player score player choice if player choice equal to three and computer choice equal to two that means our player wins so we'll say see out player win and here we'll increase the score of the player by one so we'll say player score plus plus and after that we'll check another condition for draw so we'll say if player choice equal to computer choice that means it's a draw so we'll say see out draw and else so now if the round is not draw or not player winning so we'll say that computer wins so we'll say c out computer win in line after that we'll increase the score of the computer by one so we'll say computer score plus plus now there is a small bug if player doesn't use one two or three that means our program will say computer wins so we don't want that so here we'll run a do while loop that will make sure that the user selects the number from one to three nothing else so we'll say so we'll cut this part here from and we'll paste in the do block and here we'll type a condition that while player choice not equal to one and player choice not equal to two and player choice not equal to three so now our program will run perfectly fine at the last we just need to print that who is going to win so after the for block we'll say if computer score equal to player score so we'll say 
C out game is drawn in line else if player score greater than computer score so now we will say C out player name you won the game and else C out computer won the game so now let me build run this program and see how our program will work so we'll say build and run so this is our program so it is saying that enter your name so we'll say alpha so it is saying that alpha how many rounds do we want to play so we'll say five rounds i want to play so it is showing that round number one of five alpha score is zero computer score zero and here it is pending then select one for rock two for paper three for scissors so we'll select one so now our program works fine but the last thing is that it is not showing the results now we have to say that press any key to continue and we'll have to stop the results until user press any key so we'll say see out press any key to continue and at the last we'll say get ch so this get ch function comes in the header file conio.h so we'll include the header file so we'll say include conio.h so if we now run this program this will works fine so let's enter our name alpha and it is saying alpha how many round do we want to play so we'll say we want to play five rounds so now let's select number one so you can see there it is showing the results that is draw and it is saying that press any key to continue so i'll say enter let's select two so we won three computer one four and draw so in this case the computer ones so it is saying that computer won the game so that's how we can create a rock paper scissors game in c plus plus if you like this video hit the like button and make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new video so if you have any question you can comment down below and also let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below